Andrew checking in. What a great week we have in store with the Waste Management Tournament starting today. And uh, what a great tournament we had last week down in San Diego at Torrey Pines uh, where Patrick Reed won the event. Uh, if you recall last week we had Patrick Reed come into a, a embedded golf ball scenario where some critics say that he, he didn't follow the rules of golf where others you know said that he proceeded under the rules um, to the T. Um, so this week we want to go over the embedded rule and what you do if you find yourself in that position on the golf course. Uh, so first and foremost uh, as of 2019 they changed the embedded golf ball rule so you now get relief for an embedded golf ball through the general area um, so if you're in the rough or the short grass, anywhere that's not a penalty area, you are going to get relief for an embedded golf ball. Uh, so first, what is an embedded golf ball? Well, an embedded golf ball, what that means is that your ball has breached the soil of the ground. It's got to be underneath, it has to break through the ground, and it can't be just nestled in, this rough, in the rough if you're in, in a particular situation that I am in here. Um, and that, if it's just nestled in the rough, you're just obviously in a bad lie and you're not going to get relief. So if, recall, if you recall last week, Patrick Reed, as he was approaching his golf ball, uh, he, he told his playing competitors, hey, I think my ball is embedded, uh, I'm going to check it. And that's what the first thing you need to do. Check your golf ball, so you're going to take your tee and you're going to mark the position of the golf ball. Um, and when you pick up the golf ball, you need to make sure that you do not clean it yet. Uh, because you want to make sure that if the golf ball is in fact embedded, then you're going to be able to clean it, but if it is not, you cannot clean the golf ball. So you pull the golf ball, you're going to have to kind of reach in, make sure, okay, yep, yeah, there's some soil there, it broke through. Um, so you are going to get relief, and that's it. So Patrick Reed, after he identified that his ball was embedded, he called over a rules official, but instead of placing the golf ball back in the spot where it was embedded, he set his golf ball off to the side. Uh, so that's where all the critics said that he didn't follow the rules of golf because the rules official came over. Uh, was kind of wondering why the golf ball was there when he's checking the embedded hole over in this area. So if you are in this situation on the golf course, tell your playing competitors you're going to identify your golf ball to make sure that it is embedded or check the hole that it's embedded. Uh, and then once you do that, you can have them come over to check just to make sure that it's not just nestled in the grass. And then if you do find that your ball is embedded, uh, you get nearest point of relief, no closer to the hole. So if I'm playing to the flag stick here, no closer to the hole, I'm going to kind of come back at an angle, put another tee in the ground. At this point, you are allowed, since my ball wasn't embedded, you can clean your golf ball. Um, so clean it up, then you're going to take a drop at knee height, just like this, and then proceed and play out the shot under no penalty. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you're ever in the situation on the golf course where your ball is embedded, and again, it's through the general area, anywhere that's not a penalty area, you are going to get relief uh, for an embedded golf ball. Thanks for watching and have a great week.